When you hear the magic word free, you might have one of two reactions. Oh boy, free stuff. Or you could also wonder what's wrong with it. At least that's certainly the case when it comes to virtual private networks or VPNs. Free VPNs like Proton VPN typically are literal dumpster fires. This is because VPNs that offer free versions often are insecure or sell your data. Take for example, massive leak of 350 million pieces of user data. Naturally, you don't want 350 pieces of anything of yours to be leaked all over the internet. In this Proton VPN review, we will analyze the free version and determine if the paid version can compete with other popular VPNs. We'll evaluate Proton's security, cost, performance, and features, while also comparing it to other popular VPNs, especially NordVPN, which is our highest rated VPN. I'll be filling out this table with different grade levels as we go along. And if you're looking to save, you can grab exclusive discounts on top VPNs through the links that I've added in that video description. All right, now let's start with security. A VPN security comprises a few different areas, its history, its technology, and its location. Let's break it down. First, the history. Does Proton VPN have any leaks? In short, no. Proton VPN has a proven history of not behaving like a broken sink. This is important when considering Proton's free version. As said in the intro, free VPNs aren't usually secure, but Proton is secure, which is good. Part of this comes from its proven technology. When reviewing Proton service pages, you'll see mention of two things called AES-256 and CHA-CHA-20. Without getting too deep, these protocols help hide your data, so unwanted audience members can't read it. For example, in a man-in-the-middle attack, someone can steal your data as it's transferred between connection points. With a VPN, the data they get is a jumbled mess, saving you from stolen information. Beyond this, Proton also relies on something called Secure Core Technology. This is a marketing term that actually translates to multi-hop, meaning your connection moves between two servers. This is similar to multi-hop by NordVPN or the Tor network. The logic being that jumping between multiple servers makes you harder to track. Secure Core is also slower, making using it a bit more of a double-edged sword. It's also less necessary to protect against these man-in-the-middle attacks. It's more about not being traced, which is important in strict countries that might not like what you're searching for, such as China. For everyone else, Proton is open source technology, which is a win for everyone. Open source means that the code is available for public scrutiny. This means Proton believes in transparency, something that other VPN providers don't often do. This might not be as helpful for regular people, but coders are always looking for an excuse to get under the hood. So in other words, Proton has nothing to hide. Unless it's your information. Cheesy jokes aside, there's one last area of concern with security. Location. And Proton VPN is based out of Switzerland. This is good, as Switzerland has data privacy laws that coincide with the GDPR, the EU's data privacy laws. Without getting too technical, this means the Swiss actually protect your data from corporations. Compare this to a country where data privacy laws are non-existent, such as the US. Here, VPNs like ExpressVPN have more flexibility in how they use data. Granted, these VPNs have no logs policies to counteract that, but those can be overturned quite easily with a court order. And in a country without data privacy protections, those court orders tend to be more common. In other words, Proton does have a no logs policy, but this is virtually worthless. Instead, if a VPN says no logs, check its history to confirm those claims. Thankfully, Proton has plenty of history proving its claims to privacy and security, and all of this is supported by its location and technology. So Proton VPN gets an A plus when it comes to security. Next, let's consider the cost. Proton's cost varies a bit when compared to its competitors. In some ways, it's much cheaper. In other ways, it is not. Take a look at this table for some details. If you only want the VPN, Proton's monthly cost is cheaper than any other provider. 
However, when looking at its one and two year plans, it becomes much less competitive. Not including ExpressVPN, it charges around one to two dollars per month if you pay for an entire year up front. If you're willing to bundle services, Proton Unlimited comes with a calendar, drive, password manager, wallet, and secure mailing services. In these cases, pricing goes from $12.99 monthly to $7.99 if you want to pay for two years up front. The one-year plan is $9.99. The value of these services varies depending on the user. For example, if you don't need a secure wallet, password manager, or cloud drive, you'll find Proton unnecessarily expensive at this level. The calendar and mail are available for free on other platforms. You can also get free versions of the drive, calendar, and email through Proton, albeit with less storage space. Pricing like this is why it's good to take advantage of limited time details. For example, if you click in our video description, you can save some money. Otherwise, Proton only gets a C when it comes to cost, making it less appealing than services like Surfshark and CyberGhost. What about performance? Our testing revealed that Proton VPN is slower compared to the results we gathered in another review. However, the speed differences are not significant enough to cause major slowdowns. Proton VPN averaged at 371 Mbps for Canada, with significant speed drops of over 100 and 200 Mbps for the UK and Australia respectively. When we compare these to our Canadian-only results from other popular VPNs, namely Express, Surfshark and Nord, Proton is clearly slower. However, what makes Proton interesting is that it was only a loss of 8 Mbps, potentially meaning that the internet tests this time were affected by data throttling. Simply put, Proton VPN isn't slow, but isn't particularly fast. So the company gets a C, putting it at about average. Finally, let's review what Proton has to offer in terms of features. Proton's feature list is very similar to other VPN providers I've reviewed in the past. This includes support for 10 devices, 6,000 servers in 100 countries, and availability across all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and Linux. This includes support for Android TV, Chrome, Firefox, and Chromebook devices, giving it pretty impressive coverage. Proton offers superior on-device coverage compared to most providers. The only company that beats it is Surfshark, the VPN that offers coverage for unlimited devices. Outside the basic VPN stuff, it offers a series of helpful features within and outside the VPN. Outside, it provides an ad blocking extension. I've also already mentioned a series of optional features if you pay for unlimited service, which I won't get into here. Inside the VPN, you get features that make it very similar to NordVPN. First, there's split tunneling, allowing you to separate a specific application on your desktop or mobile device for a unique location. This is helpful if you have a location-dependent application, such as your bank, which might not allow you to connect when pretending to be in another country. There's also Tor Over VPN, a connection type that lets you use the Tor Onion network. This network is a series of anonymous PCs, perfect for remaining completely anonymous online. But this is fairly useless for ordinary people who want a VPN for watching another country's Netflix. Another, more useful general feature is a VPN kill switch, which ends your internet as soon as you lose connection with the VPN server. This prevents any data leakage from coming out. This is generally more helpful for those who don't want their location-based accounts to get banned, as many streaming services like Netflix frown upon VPNs and will block your connection if it catches you. And finally, a more helpful feature for general users is port forwarding. This allows you to forward ports through your VPN and router, letting you torrent files. This is really handy if you use peer-to-peer -peer downloading services like BitTorrent. And finally, the most useful feature for the general user unlimited bandwidth. Even the free version lets you access a limited number of servers with unlimited bandwidth. The paid version lets you access nearly 100 countries without bandwidth interruptions, making it better than the VPN you get with antiviruses like Bitdefender. However, unlimited bandwidth is standard for most paid VPNs. The good news is that with that unlimited bandwidth, you get a VPN that works with Netflix. Just make sure you log in beforehand. So Proton has some solid features, but many of those optional features are situational goods. This is why I'm only giving it a B. So is Proton VPN the best VPN in the world? 
No. But Proton is a trustworthy, secure VPN that offers a unique, privacy-focused alternative to Google's services. This makes it a unique offering when compared to other VPNs. If you're looking for our top tier choice, we highly recommend NordVPN. And the best part, you can get a whopping 83% discount using the link in the description below. That's all for this video. If you're committed to online security, don't miss this video on the best password managers or check out this video about the best cloud storage services.